Hey everybody, so summer's upon us and we're still on interchangeable core locks. This is another best small format interchangeable core, uh, but if you look at the keyway, uh, and particularly this bit near the uh, top, uh, it does look a little bit strange, and that's because this is actually a Kaba Peaks mechanism inside of a best small format interchangeable core. Uh, if you can just make out, I think, with the lighting, this very short uh, pin in the very, very front of the lock, and that is what makes it a Kappa Peaks. Uh, it's a special check pin that needs to be ra that would normally be raised by a small bump or peak uh, just in front of the shoulder of the key. So we're going to get this guy uh, locked up. Make sure the vise is nice and tight, and this uh, can get a little bit tricky because what we're going to do is we're going to start off with a standard tension tool and a uh, 18 thousandths pick, and we're going to try to reach in there and just lift that uh, check pin right at the front. And if you notice, the core has shifted very slightly, which means that we now have disengaged that check pin, hopefully. Uh, and we're going to now uh, insert our uh, Peterson pry bar, the thin one, and we're going to switch over to a 15 thousandths uh, pick, which is extremely thin, and I don't normally use it except when the warding is so tight that I really can't fit anything else. And in this case, uh, that is the situation. So we're just going to work in there. I think I set a couple of the pins in the back. This is a seven pin core, so there's a lot of stuff that needs to be set. And it is a, uh, again, it's a best SFIC, so that means that every pin stack has at least two uh, shear lines, uh, and the body also has two uh, physically separate shear lines, so it's very easy to mess this up. Uh, but hopefully we'll be able to get everything, uh, every pin stack to line up at one of the shear lines. And if we get really lucky, we might finally, I've been picking this thing all day, uh, and after like I've managed to get it open to the operator shear line like five times, but I have yet to get this to control. So maybe we'll get really lucky. Okay, uh, camera's getting in my way just a little bit. So, hopefully. Okay, we're going to try the thicker pick now, just in case we're stuck on some of the pools and the spools and they need a little bit of extra encouragement. And there we go. So I think that was pin 3 or so that was having us hung up. So this thing, uh, Kaba is kind of well known for the fact that a lot of their locks contain far more spools than you might expect. And they are very, very well made spools. But now, got it nice and open. So, at least we'd be able to open the door, but uh, we'd have a hard time replacing this uh, core. We'd have to remove the entire cylinder, which I'm pretty sure is what, the, uh, is what happened to the person who gave this to me. So, until next time, have fun and happy picking.